Hello, I'm Bruce Fink, Product Manager for Temperature Controllers for Omron Automation and Safety. This video will discuss some of the features and benefits of our new E5C series of temp controllers. We will discuss the E5CC, E5EC, and E5AC temperature controller. Omron has been an active innovator in temperature control since 1967. Now, temperature control has taken a giant leap forward with Omron's next generation of controllers. The E5CC, E5EC, and E5AC, which set new global standards in the crucial areas of precision, user-friendliness, and control performance. The E5CC, E5EC, and E5AC series will save time and effort in setup and operation while enabling faster and more accurate monitoring of the control of your temperature process. The high visibility display of the new series is also extremely easy to read and virtually eliminates any possibility of human error. For the majority of control applications, you will usually find the ideal solution in our E5C controller series. Available with multi-functional inputs, these instruments offer reliable single-loop regulation. Omron's new line of temperature controllers includes the 1 16th DIN size E5CC, the 1 8th DIN size E5EC, and the quarter DIN E5AC sized controller. Each size of controller offers key features that will help control the temperature process for heating or cooling in any industrial process. Powering on for setup and programming can be done in two ways. The conventional way is by installing the temperature controller and wiring in all the power wiring and thermocouple inputs, whether it's a thermocouple or an RTD. That would allow you to provide power to the temp controller and continue the programming. The advanced easy to set up feature is the ability to power up the E5C family of temp controllers using the E58-CIFQ2 serial conversion cable and a USB power supply or USB port on a computer. Here I will be using a USB power supply to power up the E5CC temp controller by taking the conversion cable and plugging it into the E5CC temperature controller. This feature powers up the temperature controller without the hassle of input power wires to the unit. All that is required is the USB power supply of 5 volt DC and a current of 450 milliamps max. In programming the temperature controller, we then will utilize the level key to get into the initial settings. You press and hold the level key for three seconds until you see the INT indication. This is the input of the type of thermocouple or RTD that you would like to utilize. When setting this up, you can use the up arrows to indicate the type of RTD or thermocouple in use. This can be found in the data sheet for the E5CC temp controller and can be chosen from a temp control setting of 1 through 29 choices of input devices. You then can use the mode key to switch to additional settings in the initial setup. In this case, toggling between Fahrenheit and Celsius control on your display. So we will move from Fahrenheit to Celsius for this initial setup. As we work through the mode key, we would have our selection of high input. This is the indication as to the type of thermocouple you have installed. Our uh, type K thermocouple has a 1300 degree Celsius setting for the top or high level. For the low level, it would have a negative 200 degree Celsius setting. 
we show a control input. This control is there to set an on-off control of the temp controller or, by pressing the up arrow, allow us to transition into the PID uh, control portion of the temp controller. For this example, we'll leave it set for PID. As we continue through, we see additional high-level set points or patterns. These settings can be utilized depending on the application requirement. Also those settings will change. Other options will become available depending on your choice of thermocouple. Again pressing the mode key allows us to work through those settings. We get through our alarm setting capabilities, which sets the type of alarm you would want to have happen, not any of the actual temp settings on the alarm. Brings us back to the IN-T setting, which is your initial thermocouple or input setting. By pressing and holding the mode key, again for three seconds, allows us to reset and start the temp controller. You can see that we've gone to Celsius, and we have an indication that we have a output one and the auto-tune feature of the PID system has started. For more information about the E5 underscore C series temperature controllers or any other Omron automation and safety products, visit omron247.com.